mask that will carry you negative or advise people in against us, let it be cancer. For spiritual warfare that has been released a few months now keys for spiritual warfare right here on amazon you can just look for um uh, keys for spiritual War warfare a book from dr odisman of course you can go to my personal website dr odisman.com you get an audio version only available on my website and also you can also get an uh, ebook on my website on amazon you can get a physical book or an ebook amen so you can go right there you can go to any one of my websites information will be on your screen you can also get it at kingston bookshop you can get it at all of our church branches and of course that all important number call that number and we'll be happy to give you some information how we get it and you'll be able to get your copies in fontana pharmacies God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. This is your pastor, Reverend Dr. Otis Manning. Pray all is well with you. Wherever you're watching this program from, a blessing to you and the blessing of the Lord. Make you rich and add no sorrow. Listen, always a great week, always a great time, a great opportunity and a blessing and a pleasure to be in your home at this time and to fellowship with you. And I think it's a joy just to be able to have fellowship, to break bread with you, to break the word of God and to to share the gospel of Jesus. I think it's one of, it is my greatest privilege and my greatest honor week after week just to share with people the goodness of God. I did not have to be here. I did not have to be the one being used by God. So I'm so grateful that he did choose me by his sovereign grace, his wisdom, his knowledge. He pre knew and predestined me to be transformed and uh, 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 to the image of his dear son. So I can share with you, I tell people, you know, when you see God doing all these miracles, don't thank me, I'm, I'm just a servant. I'm just an unprofitable servant. I mean, I'm just doing my master's bid. Thank God. And I, I, I meet people all the time. I mean, every Sunday night I'm on live and I'm taking calls, you know, praying with people. And um, I hope I can get some numbers on, on screen for you guys. Every Sunday night I'm praying. And I get people call, you know, say, Pastor, I saw you on TV. And I watch, I watch people got healed. And, and, and it's a blessing to listen to them get healed instant. Instant. Pains in their body. Problems. Instant. People watching me. Amen. I mean, people come to visit me with accident issues. This bone broken. That bone broken. Can't stand properly. Instant. It's an amazing privilege. And, and for you, you're excited. And, and you're like, whoa, whoa. For me, it's just an absolute honor. It's an honor to see what God is doing. And I'm grateful. I am so grateful. You have no idea. I'm so grateful to God to see God working all these awesome miracles. And um, guess what? We're going to be having a word. And of course, after the word, we're going to be showing you some more awesome testimonies. Awesome miracles of God instantly healing people. Are you ready for some of this? Let's get you some of this. Let's go. A word is going to be shared. God bless you. Bye-bye. Now, here's what I'm going to say to you. We're going to share a few scriptures and time go and finish a little early. I'm saying all of this is when you understand how to put parts together, then you're going to get momentum. Things going to get moving. But you got to learn how to put the parts together. How to assemble them. The realm of the spirit is so vast. Nobody knows it all. We know in part, we prophesy in part. Anybody tell you they know everything wrong? Everybody hear me? Now sometime, watch this. Now sometime, you get sick. And when you get sick, you say to yourself, I'm sick. And you're not sick. A young lady more than likely, she's watching me. She flew from America. She came to church. She came for deliverance. Her sister might be here. I don't know if she says here. I don't remember who your sister is. But more than likely, she's watching me. And she was diagnosed with, I think, heart problem and I think cancer. And all the woman had was a demon. She had no cancer. Could hardly breathe everything wrong with her. And she came, she came for about three days, flew from Fort Lauderdale. After about three days, girl was perfectly well. She fly, took a flight and went home. Perfectly healed. No more cancer, no more problem. Why? She was never sick with cancer. 
But the machines that we have that test you if you are sick, all it's going to say is cancer. It's not going to tell you you have a demon of, infer uh, of uh, what's that? infirmity. It's not going to pick up and say infirmity is here. It's going to tell you you are sick. It's going to tell you cancer is there. It's going to give you a label. And everybody with me so far? No, no one, of, one of my wonderful gentlemen I love, he's passed away now. One of my um, great teachers in, the, in, 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 in deliverance. He got cancer. And um, his son-in-law came and they were praying for him. He said, can we pray with you, dad? Old man, he died now. And he said, the son-in-law began to pray. And he said, he, he made a sound like a cat. Like cat. I don't know say church there for cancer. And he made a, I, a roar like a cat. Went back to the doctor, cancer free. Cancer free. Now, why did he make a roar like a cat? A cat? Should I go look a bit further with you? It was all like you want to know. Should I go look further? There are some people you felt like something stuck you. Because something did stick you. Now, your eyes don't see it. Should I go look further with you? Should I go look further with you? There are people who are listening to me. You've had dreams. And you ask yourself, what are dreams is so and so and so and so? How is that even possible? And until you have the physical manifestation in your body, then you understand what you dreamt. Anybody understand what I just said? Let's go a little further. I've prayed for people, they just felt somebody did this. But they do it hard. Knock them in the head. You know what happened to them after that? Eh? Mad. Mental. Just felt something knocking. What happened? What happened? The vastness of the realm of the spirit. What happened? I'm going to say a few more things. Probably share one scripture or two. Then I'm going to go down. Hear me well. When you are to come to Jesus. What you don't see. Is there is somebody standing beside you. And they do this. And they do this. She's coming by herself. But somebody did this. What happened? No, what you don't see is the operation of angels. Ministry time coming up next with the Reverend Dr. Otis Man. I know you've been inspired. I know you're just being blessed by the word. I'm sure the word, I mean, it's not a long word. We don't have all the time. So I spend as much time as I can to focus on the miraculous aspect of what God does. Every living week, we see miracles. Every week. No week don't pass. We don't see miracles. Every week, we see miracles. And so every week, I want to showcase the miracle power of God. There's no week I don't see God healing somebody. No week. Every week. Every week, I see God doing miracles. And so that's why every week, we have so many testimonies to prove. Testimonies to show. They are branded new testimonies. And so I want to highlight some this week with you. Are you ready? So that's why I, let, I leave a lot of the timing of the program to share testimonials of people being healed. So that you can increase in faith. You can believe God for a miracle. Call me on a Sunday night for a miracle. Or visit the church, 92 Reddles Road, and come for your miracle. Let's look at some of the miracles God did this week. Let's go. Mama, how is your stomach doing? Come, bro. Come, mama. You didn't come to be sick. You come to be healed. How is your stomach? Who brought her? Is your mother? What is she? Is your friend? What's wrong with you, mommy? What's wrong with you? Eh? What I know you that you tell me? You tell me, say your belly are hot, you. You ever tell me, say your ribs are hot, you. So, what do your ribs? Well, when I was younger, uh -huh. okay, I fell when I was younger and they had, had fractured. So now they are deformed. So, you fractured your ribs? Two of them. Uh -huh. So you've been to the doctors? Yes. What the doctor says? They said I need physiotherapy. Physiotherapy for fracture rib? Or that piece of work? How you do? 
Oh, yeah, I remember. Sorry. So, you need physiotherapy for fracture ribs? Yes. Oh, that work. Physiotherapy for fracture ribs. So, how long have you been with this pain? Uh, three months. Three months. You want to be healed? Yes. You sure or you just come for like a prayer? Which one? Tell me which one you come for. I need to be healed. You sure? Yes. Now, I want you to believe that God can heal you. Do you believe God can heal you? Yes. Huh? Yes. You believe God can heal you? Yes. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to pray with you. You're going to believe God, okay? Yes. All right? Yes. There's something wrong on the back to the left side. It's not your rib. It's your problem. Mm -hmm. I shall look for me. I have a rib. What's your name, Mama? I'm Sharon Blygen. You okay? You believe God can heal you? Yes. I have to encourage her a little bit. I want her to be healed. Is that okay? Mm. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, I want her to believe, you know. What do your face look like that, Mama? All right. I want her to be healed. And that's my key. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not comfortable. I know what I mean. You don't understand. I know what I mean. That's the best way I can say. But I want God to heal her. Amen. I'm fine. It's not me uncomfortable. I, know. I just don't want to say what I want to say yet. Amen. Come share. So this pain has been out of one to ten. It has been terrible, right? Yes. Terrible for the last three months. Come with me. Come. What are you worried about? Why are you worried about? Eh? You're going to show me that. Bring it Dr. Rosemary. Who am I? You are mindful of me. Don't just keep me soft. I don't want to go fast. That you hear me when I call. And is it true that you are mindful of me? Don't go me fast. I want it slow. That you hear me. Open it. So this is a CD. I don't want you to be bending down. All right, you're going to be fine. Just believe. She's showing me her doctor report. Come, run with me. Come, mama. Come. I don't know about his blood. Man, that's a very big word there. <laughs> Thank you for loving me. So you had severe pain in the side? You had severe pains. Good, now you're coming with me. You're coming with me. I love that. You understand what I mean by you're coming? Your faith is coming. Good. So something good is happening for you tonight. Good, good. You're coming with me. All right, good. Good. Even when we are sick, people get healing here. <laughs> Doesn't matter what's happening. God is still a healer. Amen? Amen. All right, come, Mama. Good, good. All right, come. So what's your name now? Blygen. Sharon Blygen, walk some more. Walk by yourself. And come back to me now, sorry. Come, Shari. Go back down there and come back. Good. Well, make sure you live out there perfectly well. That's <laughs> come, Sharon. That's the key. We want to make sure you live. Go one more time. Anybody love Jesus tonight? Let's go one more time. Lady who brought her, come here. Lady who brought her, come here, come here, come here. Come here, Sherry. Come here, Sherry. All right, so go ahead. Feel yourself. How is that? Feel it. How is that? Talk to me. Tell me the truth. Pass have a little bit left. There's nothing left. Talk to me. Be honest. Squeeze it. Don't touch. Touch it. Why you be smile? This is what you need to come and catch. How is that? Look at her. Look at her face. Look at the face. Look at the face. How is that? Look at her now. She has feel. Mm -hmm. She's feeling. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling for? Healing. What are you feeling for? How is that? I'm feeling if I feel any pain in my side. I wish I had that believer in the house. <laughs> Mama said, I'm feeling if I am feeling. <laughs> She's feeling, if she's feeling <laughs> anything. Go, walk up and number your business now. You are free in Jesus' name. I wish I had some believer in the house. <laughs> He's your friend, right? Yes. Your friend? How is she looking? Come, mama, walk. When last you see her walk like that? That's the way to go. Huh? Seeing her look, looking good. 
How would she look? She looking good. From she looking she good. Come here, well, From when she come here. Yeah. I saw somebody holding on down there. Yes, that's so sure. Eh? That's so sure I can make her face when she's feeling I make up her face. Yeah, man. Come watch it. Look, mama. You look young. You're not married yet. You're not married yet. <laughs> Anybody love my God? <laughs> How is that? I'm getting healed. Feel beautiful? Yes. Feel beautiful? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, I'm going to make you do something more. What else you had difficulties in doing before? Everything. Bend down. Bend down. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Bend down. Yes. I'm up. Good, go down again. And up. <laughs> go down again. And up. And one more time. And up. Good, walk about your business now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Feel good, Mama? I'm happy for you. Amen. Thank you for helping me. You made it easy. God bless you. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Come, come here. Are you cousin now? No, it's a friend of mine. Oh, oh, come. You're Christian? Yes, sir. You're Christian? Yes, sir. Okay, so you said they, they give you with what now? They diagnosed me with a thing called um, fibromyalgia syndrome. Mm -hmm. I have um, widespread pain, stiffness, anxiety, panic attack, depression, Frustration, nerves, you name it. Cranication, <laughs> any other Asian? It's chronic illness, yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so. You but I want to say something first. When I came, I was shaking because of the pain. Okay. And no, uh -huh. as in no, when we uh -huh. pulled down no, uh -huh. I am not shaking. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that listen was up me. I tell you somebody go and get up. So you were shaking today? I was shaking. Not only today, I have a drive. I can't drive. I have a personal chef. I have You can't cook. I can't cook. You can't, can't drive. drive. What are something yeah? <laughs> tell me more there. Um, it's so why not tell the people don't listen? See, they know. It what? cause um, confusion. So is there any pain left in your body now? No, and I will keep holding up my hand to check if it's working. <laughs> I wish I had some people in the house. <laughs> there are so many more. I can't use the air condition. I can't use Come sanitizer. <laughs> you know what that? The air condition. <laughs> That's why I said there are so many things I want to explain. I, I'm, I can't explain the joy I'm feeling. Because Let somebody give God some praise right about now, man. Come on, man. She's in awe. She said, when I dry this something. You remember me tell about the dry that is something. She said, when I dry it, I realize eh, the shaking gone. I still try to feel if I can shake. <laughs> that is the Jesus I'm talking about. Amen. That's the Jesus, because I go to church, and when I go to my church, I leave after praise and worship because of the air condition. Ay, 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 ay. We say when you haven't left when praise and worship done. After praise and worship, and I pay my. I wish I somebody that give God some worship. <laughs> but you come at church today, and you get stuck. This is our first time. I don't know our first time singer, and so now you get stuck. First time here. Me know who me I see back. <laughs> You see this in life and living color. You see this for yourself. I, I'm telling you, if you see me, I take nine pills in the morning, two in the evening, two in the night. And from the other day, hold I've on. been... 13, hold on, hold on, hold on. 13, hold on. Multiply 13 by 7. Yeah. Yeah, man. 364. So we're right. So 364. So 364. Eh? Yeah, man. You can get it already. So 364. So you take 364 pills a month. Yes, and that is um, approximately 30, 30 something thousand per month. 30 something thousand per yes, month. Yes, and I have to pay my chef 
my driver. I have so many different so people. So you be a chef, oh lad. So thought you had for that. <laughs> then another, at least 40,000 for chef. God Are send me my chef and my driver. I don't pay so him. So him a chef and driver? I him cook for me and I him drive me and I don't pay him. He just So you're the chef? Yes. You know what she look like. Mm -hmm. You know her problem. Mm -hmm. You see the difference in her? Mm -hmm. Talk to me now, man. Yeah, man. What is the difference? Talk to me. Why? She a glow. She <laughs> You heard what he says? She a glow. Yeah, I'm not grow, glow. Glow. She's glowing. Yeah, man. I'm happy for you. Amen. But she there right here was telling me, check out her and, and you know she's not shaking. She not telling us to check yeah, out man. it. So I bless you. We declare may your healing stay. May the power of the Lord that have broken this bondage from you rest upon you. And we declare you well in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Go. Now, I know you were blessed by the program you saw. You were absolutely blessed. It's a man of God. How can I be healed? How can I get a testimony? Find somebody who can pray with you. Now, I don't doubt that you have faith. I don't doubt it. The Bible says in Acts, the Bible says, and Peter, uh, and Peter and John saw that the man had faith to be healed. He had faith to be healed, but he wasn't healed. But the anointing on them pulled out that faith and pulled it up, and the man was healed. At gate beautiful that's my job to help you to lift that faith up so you can receive the miracle you have the faith I can help you if you have no faith I'm not a magician I can do absolutely nothing for you if there's no faith but if you have faith then I can help you now my job is to help you to lift you and it's according to your faith now of course there are some times um, that that I, that I, I will step up boldly and I will use the gift of faith in me for a miracle. Let me show you one example of this. Let me show you an example of somebody whose bones was broken, her coccyx was broken, and I stepped out in faith, and we watched God heal her. Let me go real quickly to show you this. Testimony. Coccyx is broken. It's also a problem to huh? sleep, like I only can't from side to side. Can't. You can't sleep good? No, I can't rest on my back, nor my stomach. You can't rest on your stomach, nor your back? No. So he give you a cushion? Yes. Uh, all right, so you have a cushion. All right, and why they give you the cushion? Because I can't sit properly. The, um, because the tailbone is broken, I have problems sitting down normally. So the, this cushion is shaped like a donut. That's my um, bottom um, sit down in it, but don't touch the surface. So your bottom not touching the surface? No. All right, stand up. Get up and hold her up. Is there a pain? Not? Yes. One out of ten, how much is it? About six. Six. Walk around. And so we say, trusting the Lord with all of thy heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In Jesus' name, may God perfect now. Go. Go. I know. She could not lay on her belly. She could not lay on her belly, neither her back. Look at this. You couldn't bend. You couldn't kneel down. You couldn't kneel down on my belly. You couldn't lay down on your belly. Cock kicks bone or whatever it's called be straightened now. Be healed now, straight now, not next week, not tomorrow, now, total. Healing! Touch your toe, up and down, up and down, quickly. She said, me now feel it, touch your toe, up and down. She said, me now feel it, me now feel it, me now feel it. Touch your toe, you are free. Remember she have to sit on something? What she have to sit on? Cushion. Cushion. I'll make sure the first place you sit is the altar. Come. Come and put the anointed bottom on the altar. Doctor say, you need a cushion. You can't sit without a cushion. Oh, now, I know you just saw that testimony. Now, 
that's an instance where I step out in faith. I don't always do that. That's a time when what, what I call special faith come into effect. I don't always operate like that. There are sometimes I will. There are sometimes I take some of the stick and throw it away. So walk. They walk. I don't always operate like that. I love when people come with their faith. Get it? Because I'm not always going to be in that frame of mind, that atmosphere where I'm like, okay, crazy faith. So your faith is important. And if you believe, you can be healed. How can you be healed? I'm going to pray for you right here. And so many people who are hundreds being healed by me just praying for you. You go get your miracle now. Not just go be healed, but you can visit 92 Redis Road. So many people visit and they visit for their miracles. And I watch God give them their miracles. God is so awesome. So awesome. So awesome. This week we had two people who testified they've been cured, 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 healed from cancer. A guy with broken ribs. Listen, ah. Uh, God is good. God is good. Let me just pray with you. And if you believe God is going to give you a testimony, just before I, I run off this station, I want to invite you, those who do not know, the 30th of November, 1st and 2nd of December, I'll be in Montego Bay, 6.30 p.m. at the, the church in Montego Bay, 30th of November, 1st and 2nd of December. Information is going to be on your screens. I mean, contact number is going to be on your screens Please call so you can find out where exactly. So we're going to be at God Family Ministry, Montego Bay, which is at, 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 at um, opposite Holiday in Hotel, right behind the gas station. All right. And uh, 7, 8, 9, I'm going to be in New York with you. 7, 8, 9, I'm going to be in New York. Georgia, by the grace of God, the very next week. Um, next week, God's will not share with you in the exact days I'll be in Georgia and the place. All right. So that's what the what's up. Clarendon, I'll announce your, your, your days for you soon as well. All right. So I'll announce to you. And of course, we're going to come in across the country and I'll let you know where I'm going to be at. We're really looking forward to that next year. 21 days of prayer and fasting starting January. I want you to email, I want you to mail me or email me. You are just I'd rather you have to physically mail me. That's going to be way better for us. Because if you mail me and go have to print them out. So I'd rather you mail me. I, I'll let you know the address soon. And um address will be on your screens where you can send me your mail so I can pray for you in the 21 days of prayer and fasting. Wouldn't that be lovely? Oh, absolutely lovely. I'm looking forward to getting your mail. Let me pray with you. If you have faith enough to believe, then I have faith enough to believe. Stretch your hand and receive your miracle. Father, I pray. Those who are watching, those who have stretched their hand, I pray by the blood of Jesus, I release healing. Beverly, get ready. God is turning things around in your life. Stephanie, get ready. God is going to turn things around. No, no, Stephanie, no. Whatever it is, just relax. No, 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 no. Trust God. Amen. You're, you've been praying, wanting something. Just relax. Wait. Wait upon the Lord. Father, I cancel um, somebody like s s your name, Stepha, your last name. You have a funny last name, weird last name, like Stepha. Uh, uh, let me leave that one. Yeah, very weird last name. I just I just cancel the plans of hell for your life. And as somebody, your name is Harvey. Harvey, there's something to do with a house. I pray God's grace and coverage way for you, Harvey, where our house is concerned. And I pray a testimony. Father, I pray for your people. Open up divine doors. I bless them. I bind every demonic assignment. I bind every diabolic assignment of the enemy. I shut down demonic assignment. I release healing to every man, woman, boy, or girl who can believe. Father, I release healing to them, whether they're watching from around the world. I stretch forth my hand and I declare life and healing. Thank you, God, for what you're doing. And I bless them well. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. So many people right now, you're believing God and you're getting your miracle right now. I see somebody just jumping wearing a white dress. A white dress, you're just jumping and shouting. A woman had a problem in the stomach. God is healing you. Somebody had difficulty to get pregnant. Believe God, your time is coming. I declare doors are opening, supernatural doors are opening. People who had issues, amen, to travel. God is opening up doors for you. Get ready. Your life is getting ready to change. I bless you. I speak over you. I speak over you for good. I speak over you for comfort. And I declare you blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Next week, same place, same time. Your pastor, Dr. Otis Manning, on the same station. See you.
Be blessed. Spread the word. Tell somebody about the station. Tune in this and every Sunday night at 9 p.m. live on Facebook and YouTube for Divine Encounter with the Reverend Dr. Otis Manning. You can call in and talk with the Reverend Dr. Otis Manning one-on-one for prayer, healing, and miracles. You have a lump under your breast. I uh, touch it and tell me what's happening now. Thank you, Jesus. It's gone, sir. You are seeing and hearing so many people get tested. Tune in every Sunday at 9 p.m. live for Divine Encounter. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Divine Encounter. Join us again next week. Same place, same time.